Hi there, and welcome to your daily breathing gym workout for playing the tuba. We're going to start with some stretches, but before we do, I want to remind you that whenever you inhale for a breathing gym exercise, we want to do so through a large open O shape in our mouth, so that we're getting as much air as we possibly can. Our first stretch that we're going to do is called the trunk twist. We're going to put our arms out to our side, we're going to twist gently back and forth, and we're going to breathe in for four and out for four counts while we do it. Here we go. Ready? And... Arms up. Our next stretch is called the flop over. We're going to bend out our hips and flop over, letting our neck and head and arms hang down very loosely towards the ground. We're going to breathe in for four counts and out for four counts. And as you breathe in, let your upper body come up. And when you breathe out, we're going to reach down towards the ground. Here we go. Flop over. Ready? And. Come up nice and slowly. The last stretch we're going to do is called the two-way stretch. We're going to be reaching up as high as we can with our arms and pushing down into the floor as hard as we can with our heels as we breathe in for four counts and out for four counts. Here we go. Ready? And One more. The next part of our breathing gym workout are the therapy exercises. And for the therapy exercises, we're going to be working real hard to make sure that we fill up to full capacity when we inhale and that we empty out completely on our exhale. We're going to be really working hard to change and increase our lung capacity. The first therapy exercise is called tension release. We're going to take a deep breath in to full capacity. We're going to squeeze all the muscles in our body as tightly as we can. We're going to hold it and then release and breathe out. And we're going to empty out completely. We're going to do it a few times. Let's try. Ready? And. Tension. Squeeze every muscle you can find in your body. And out. Good, let's try that again. Ready, breathe in. Tension. Squeeze. And let it out. That feels good, let's try that one more time. Breathe in. Tension. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Release. Our next therapy exercise is called 5 in, 15 hold, 5 out. So of course we're going to start by breathing in for 5 counts to full capacity. We're going to hold our breath and sip in for 15 counts and then we're going to breathe out for 5 counts. At the very end we're going to sizzle out any remaining air so that we're completely empty. Here we go, let's try it. Starting with 5 in. Ready? And. If you felt yourself gasp at the end, that means you did it correctly. You were completely out of air at the very end. Let's try it again. Ready? And.
Very good, let's try it one more time. See if you can really fill up to completely full this time and push out every last bit of air at the very end. Here we go, last time. Ready, and. Our last therapy exercise is called in, sip, sip, out, push, push. And we do it exactly the way you think we would. We're going to breathe in to full capacity in one count. We're going to cap it off with two sips. And then we're going to breathe out completely in one count. And then we'll push out whatever is left in two pushes at the end. So let's try it. We're going to do it several times. Here we go. Ready? And. We're going to end our breathing gym workout with some flow exercises. And for the flow exercises, we're going to inhale to comfortably full and exhale to comfortably empty. And remember, we still want to use the big open O shape of mouth when breathing in so that we're getting as much air as we can. The first flow exercise that we're going to do is called 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to be breathing in for 6 counts and out for 6 counts. We'll increase it to 7, to 8, to 9, to 10. And when you get better at this, you can increase it even higher. We're also going to put our hand up when we inhale against our lips so that we get a suction sound like this. That'll help us monitor a nice steady inhale. And when we breathe out, we're going to put our hand out in front of our face so that we can monitor a nice steady exhale as well. Here we go, starting with six in and six out. Ready, and. Seven. Eight. Nine. Our last flow exercise is called shortened inhalation and exhalation. So we're going to start with an inhale of four and an exhale of four. We're going to move it down to three. We're going to move it down to two, then one. Then we're going to inhale and exhale on eighth notes. And then we're going to work our way back up to four counts. Okay? So here we go, starting with four in and four out. Ready? And.
And we're just going to breathe in through our nose and out through our nose. Very good. And now we've completed our daily breathing gym workout. And if you commit to doing this every day, you're going to notice that your ability to breathe in and breathe out has become greatly enhanced, and our lung capacity should be getting bigger and bigger each day. And hopefully you'll notice that your ability to play the tuba gets better and better as well. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.